It has stood at the corner of Monroe and 2nd Streets for 100 years. Thousands of Hoboken children have passed through its classrooms during that time. Now, thanks to a $24.1 million infusion from the state's Schools Development Authority, the Connors School will be getting a much-needed facelift. You know, you give kids and faculty and administrators great new space to work in. Not only does it build enthusiasm, but it opens doors for, for new things. There's different types of instruction that happen, and there's a different response to that instruction. The project is both a renovation and an expansion. Current classrooms will be enlarged, giving the 380 students more space to learn. At least four small group instruction rooms will be created. The gymnatorium, located on the first floor, is going to double in size, and the basement cafeteria will be completely renovated. It is a major need that we've been having for our students to have a state-of-the-art facility, to have the space that it requires for them to economically learn and be in an enriching environment. In order to bring this building into compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act, these steps here at the main entrance will be removed, making this school completely accessible for the handicapped. The school, which will be closed during the renovations, will feature the latest technology, a computer workshop, and the creation of a media center. There's also going to be a major change outside, as the rear parking lot is replaced by a new playground. The neighbors are excited that the buses will no longer be here waking them up in the morning, and I, I think the faculty and kids are excited that you know we're going to get outdoor playground space and we're going to get an expansion of the, the, the building space. The building will retain a bit of the past, as its hardwood floors will remain. Roslowski says he's hoping construction begins in the summer of 2009. During construction, students, teachers, and staff will be relocated to other sites within the district.